In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for N3 minus. This is the nitride ion. It's an ion of nitrogen. So the first thing we should do is look at neutral nitrogen here on the periodic table. We know it's neutral because there's no negative or positive sign after it. So for nitrogen on the periodic table, the atomic number, that's seven. And the atomic number, that's the number of protons. So for nitrogen, we have an atomic number of seven. We have seven protons. When we look at an ion, like N3 minus, and then we have a neutral element, the only thing that's different is going to be the number of electrons. Everything else will be the same. So for N3 minus, the nitride ion, we'll still have an atomic number of seven, and we'll still have seven protons. So those stay the same. It's the electrons that are going to be different. For a neutral element, the number of protons, that equals the number of electrons. So we have seven protons, seven electrons. For the ion, the electrons will be different. Here we have a three minus. Electrons are negative, so you can think of this as three extra electrons. That's what gives us the three minus ionic charge. So we have seven plus the extra three, that gives us 10 electrons for N3 minus. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for N3 minus, the nitride ion. Thanks for watching. 